Huh? Where's the queen? Maybe she isn't there. But where is she then? Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da. Huh? Ah, <sighs> haven't worn this for a while. Still looks pretty natty though, eh, near old fox? <laughs> so tough to get around in those bloody formal duds. One false step and you fall flat on your face. Ah, <sighs> I finally feel like I can be myself. Really cut loose, I love it. Oh! Oh. What are you guys doing here? We just, uh, what are you? Um, Majesty, your clothes. Wait, just hang on. Give me a second here, all right? <sighs> <clears throat> Well met, all of you. Please accept my heartfelt welcome. I can offer you only a simple welcome today. But do please make yourselves comfortable. Hmm. Is something the matter? Doesn't it wear on you, acting like that? What? Uh, Noah? No, it's perfectly fine. Dispense with such concerns. Pray, let not my regal status prohibit you from presenting your inquiries. Please, speak your minds. All right, well, here's a question. What's that get-up all about? Uh, uh, yes, perhaps you would find my clothes rather curious. I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, that's cool. No sweat. Oh. No, it's nothing like that. Before, I told you all how the world was once divided into two, if you recall. Yes, you told us when we first met. How could we forget that, Your Majesty? These clothes belong to that era, when the worlds were two, unmingled. These raiments were created especially for me in that older realm. So... so they're from your old world, Majesty? Right. I suppose you could call it a keepsake of my motherland, if you like. Motherland? Can you explain that word, please? The place of my coming into existence in the world. Of my infancy and upbringing. We called that our motherland. Your Majesty's motherland? What kind of place could it have been? Are you interested, Noah? I am. The subject seems so huge I can scarcely begin to imagine it. If it please you, I'd love to hear more about your world, Your Majesty. Certainly. I'd be happy to. Well, to begin with, I ought to explain... Actually, now that I think it over, if I were to tell you the whole of the story, a full day and night might not suffice, I fear. In fact, I'm certain of it. Oh, I see. Then I'm sorry to have made such an unreasonable demand of you. Well, maybe another time then. Even then, surely you have important matters you ought to be taking care of. It won't do for me to detain you here. Huh? Well, I suppose so, but... Therefore, let us go forth together. Yes, Your Majesty, as you will. Wait. Uh, forgive me, Your Majesty. I don't think we quite heard right. I mean to say that I will accompany you on your travels. That way, I'll be able to continue my tales. Night and day every day, if needs be. Ah. I mean, that is not not to imply that being cooped up here the whole time is as lonesome as it is tedious. Or that I'm well pleased with myself for inventing an elegant, waste-sneak excuse to get out. It's nothing like that at all. Please, do not misinterpret it this. No one was saying that anyway. 
Um, I suppose it may be a bit much, eh? Uh, we weren't saying that either. All right, then. It's decided. A deal, shall we say? Y yes Your Majesty. Ah, yes! Okay, then. Um... Uh, we humbly beg Your Grace, Your Majesty. Or, or was that respectfully? Oh, come now. No need for such formality. I ask only for your kind support, Noah. Oh, and from now on, I'd like you to address me simply as Nia. From now on, I'll be just another one of your ordinary fellow travelling folk. What I mean to say is... Oh, forget it. 